time it is, guys. We've got six things you should know. Number one on our list today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And this is a national holiday that was officially declared in 1983 by President Ronald Reagan. And though the first national celebration didn't take place until three years later, Dr. King was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. He was a Baptist minister and later a social activist. He led the U.S. Civil Rights Movement starting in the mid-1950s, delivering his famous I Have a Dream speech in the March on Washington on August 28, 1963, and was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. Many government offices are closed today, including the post office. Most banks also not open in honor of the holiday. Yes, and a salute to those who keep the party going because today is National DJ Day. So a disc jockey or DJ for short is a person who plays recorded music either on the radio or at a club or event. And mobile DJs often act as the master of ceremonies at events or parties directing the evening's activities. The first disc jockey was an experiment on the airwaves in 1909. 16-year-old Ray Newby was a student. He played the first records over the airwaves before the world disc jockey even word disc jockey even existed. Today, contemporary DJs play music from vinyl to digital. In the late 70s and 80s, turntables were used as an instrument to alter the music. Give your favorite DJ a shout out using National Disc Jockey Day on social media. I think our producer Alexis is also Absolutely. a DJ, so shout out to her. Yeah, we want to give a shout out to our favorite DJ who is super talented. Not only is she a mm -hmm. producer, but she's a DJ. She just really does it all and she's so talented. So shout out to you. We love you. Sure do. And we're still happy helping you reach those fitness goals. And popcorn can be a healthy snack. But that's a, depending on how you actually eat it. So in its purest form, plain air-popped kernels. It's a low-calorie, low-fat snack. But when you throw in some movie theater goodness, popped in coconut oil with salt and a buttery topping, a healthy snack goes out the window. Right out the window. According to a study, a medium bucket of popcorn holds 20 cups and contains 1,200 calories. I did not know that. It also has <laughs> three days worth of saturated fat. Even if you ate only three cups, which is probably unlikely, you would still consume about half a day's worth of saturated fat. Health experts say it's better to limit salt in butter on popcorn and consider adding herbs like basil, oregano, or red pepper flakes. Take away my butter. Man, I love popcorn. Can you believe that? 1,200 calories in a medium That's all of the calories with, that you consume in one day. With the butter? Yeah. Wow. You know. Ouch. Are you scared now to go yeah, to the movie? Yeah, no, I'm not, not going to change anything. <laughs> I'm still going to put butter on there. Like, come on, right? Yeah. Or you can just, like, eat half of the bag, I guess. Just I get, the, like, the extra butter. Yeah. Cut down, maybe, on... Uh, I'm upset. You know they have that skinny popcorn that you can get. I'm going to tell you to cut down on popcorn. Can you get a skinny popcorn? Yeah, so they have this skinny popcorn. It doesn't taste as great, I would say. Does you know, it it's butter? not like buttery goodness, but it, you know, it's a nice alternative. Okay. You can get it at Kroger. You trick yourself into believing that it's just crying to your popcorn. Actual lovely, tasty popcorn. What a sad day. <laughs> it really is. Sorry for that. <laughs> All right, guys, and Michelle Obama is here to help you keep your New Year's fitness goals. The former first lady recognizes it's about that time when New Year's resolutions get a bit harder to keep. So to offer a little inspiration, she shared her go-to workout playlist made of 36 songs. The tracks include hits from Lizzo, Kirk Franklin, Nipsey Hussle, Bruno Mars, and Ed Sheeran. She says these songs give her the boost she needs to get through her toughest workouts. Michelle Obama championed issues concerning health and fitness during her years as first lady. What songs are on your gym playlist? So you quit, like it's all rage songs, like Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> like there's no like, like mellow music Whoa. in there. What about you? Yeah, I have like a mixture of stuff, but I would say whenever I'm doing like my hardest thing in the gym, the song that gets me yeah. really like going okay. is songs by Disturbed. Just yeah. like hard. Yeah. That's like right in my wheelhouse too. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. You have to have something to get you going. But then I have those melodies where I'm just like stretching and I'm like, I need something a little more chill. Like some Mariah Carey or something <laughs> no, like that? Absolutely not. Like some Justin Bieber. <laughs> like some Bieber. So you yeah. don't do the heavy lifting to Bieber? No, I okay. can't. I need some disturbed, like screaming in my ear. Yeah, I'm and with then I'm you. like, okay, I can do this. That's my go to as well. <laughs> All right, guys, so we can't decide how to feel about our next story. So we have to ask you guys what you think and what you would have done. So it's one of those situations you wish would happen to you. And Howard Kirby had that moment after he bought a couch from a thrift store. So last month, he purchased a couch from the store in December for, for his man cave. But this weekend, he made a shocking discovery. It was filled with thousands of dollars in cash. Kirby said he had this ottoman for a few weeks before noticing it was uncomfortable and that's when his daughter decided to open it up. 
She pulled out a total of $43,170, but Kirby said he didn't feel right keeping the money, so he reached out to the store to find out who the couch originally belonged, and it belonged to a grandfather that died last year. Kirby says he could have used the money, but he feels better knowing the money is in the rightful owner. Yeah, so we want to know what you would have done, and you can go vote in our Instagram poll and follow us while you're at it. It's KTAL NBC6, and right there you're going to be able to tell us what would you have done? Keep the money? What is it? Finders, it. finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> is Come that on. What it is? When and who do they give? Who do they give it back to? So I guess like the like family, a, right? Okay, I guess it goes so. to the family. Okay. What would you have done? It's a tough question. It's a good question. Maybe you keep like two hundred and give some of it back. Yeah, you know, that's what I thought. Like, okay, maybe like keep half of it yeah. and then give the other half but back. Like, I'd really have loved this couch. So now. But I have what to if they? But what if they knew the amount that was in there? Just Counted for some it. crazy reason, they knew, and then they were like, well, actually, there was a lot more in there, so what happened to the rest? Interesting that they stored it in the couch, too. That's so true. There's so many places you could put it, but in the couch. In my couch, there's, like, old pieces of popcorn, maybe a quarter. Like a dime nickel. Yeah, maybe, yeah, like, crumbs. a lot of hair. Yeah, a lot of cheeses. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. And last today, a massive music convention took place in Anaheim, California over the weekend. And you can't buy a ticket to attend, but Rick Damagella takes us there with a look inside the industry exclusive gathering in our Music Monday segment. Music and the musicians who make it took center stage at the annual convention known as the NAM Show. <laughs> Produced by the National Association of Music Merchants, the event features instruments of every style and shape imaginable, including a dizzying array of guitars, guitars that light up, graphite guitars, guitars filled with liquid, and one guitar millions of years in the making. This guitar is crafted from 50 million years old amber stone from the Baltic Sea. 4.4 pounds of black amber is melted together in one piece. This guitar, 65,000 US dollars. NAM is also a platform for emerging music tech. This year, a small device called the Orba took the stage. Orba is a handheld musical instrument. We basically said, let's take all the power of digital music making, put it in the palm of your hands, and make it really simple to play. And if you are all about that bass, one company is ready to help you feel the music. We're looking at a shoe that has Bluetooth subwoofers in them. When you play music from your smartphone, you hear the full audio in your headphones, and you feel the low end, the bass, come up through your shoes into your body. Make some noise out there, everybody! Among the show's live events, R&B legend's Tower of Power performed a set celebrating its 50th anniversary. I feel younger than all my peers uh, that are my age. It's, it's weird that the music seems to keep us younger. What kind of music people? Sweet soul music. Yeah. Rocking out in Anaheim, California, I'm Rick Damagella. All right, guys, stick around because when we return, we think we may have found the trick to weight loss. The key ingredient, apple cider vinegar. And it's Music Monday, and later we have our Music Monday guest of the day, Commodity. We'll be right back.